Whoa. This is exactly why we came here all the way to the Jungle Day 5. Super hard, but let's start from the beginning. I traveled deep into the Colombian jungle in search for a monster peacock bass, and let me tell you one thing, we found them. Yep, and another one. All right, so the first fish I finally hooked up on a pretty big popper, we had three in a row. And the fish, they didn't stop biting yet. They attacked our lure super hard, and if they missed, they just attacked again and again until they got what they wanted. There it is. <laughs> What a fight, they are super strong, but they get much bigger here, up to 20 pounds. This one is pretty small, but it's still so fun. So yeah, as usual, we release them all and then we just keep on fishing. After that fish, I switch to a whopper plopper. Just listen to the noise it makes. Oh, yeah, fish on. <laughs> <laughs> there are different types of tucunares, peacock bass, and this one is a cinchado. <laughs> he fought extremely hard. He took finally after maybe half an hour of no action, my lure super hard. Incredibly nice fight and even more beautiful fish. Look at the eyes and the mouth, super big. <laughs> <laughs> and he bites. In the river we were fishing, there are over 5,000 different species and even though it's packed with lots of fishes, the fishing slowed down a lot until I made an important change. <laughs> Alright, so second fish with the spinner bait. I thought they might be a little bit deeper because of the sun. I shot him basically directly on the head, super nice attack. Really nice colors with the stripes, yeah, super fun fishing so far. As I have never caught a peacock bass on the fly, I switched to my fly rod and after some very rusty casts, a peacock bass took my self-made streamer. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, other peacock bass again. First ever peacock bass on the fly, I saw this strike was super cool with an articulated streamer on my new Grace fly rod. <laughs> Super fun, what a nice fight. Before going home for breakfast, we decided to fish a little sidearm, but there wasn't a lot of action until I got a very weird bite, which felt like my lure just touched a stick. Luckily, if there is one peacock bass, there are always more, so I ended up catching a different one and after eating breakfast, we directly headed out again and now it gets crazy. Yep. Oh, oops, that's all. Yeah, big one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's grande, it's grande. Yeah. Si, creo que es el más grande. Si. O el más fuerte. Oh, what a big fish. What a fish. Oh, it's está grande. Yeah, there's another one. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a huge take oh. on the spinner bait. Amazing colors. <laughs> what a day. And that's just the first day, just the first few hours. We didn't even eat lunch yet. And if you think that was it, then you are wrong. I was on fire at that spot. Five that minutes later, even bigger fish. <laughs> 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 Second fish in a row, again spinnerbait. I think it's more or less the same size. Maybe a little bit smaller, but <laughs> what a fight, what a take. It took so much line and my break is basically close. Incredible fishing here. <laughs> During the afternoon the fishing was a little bit trickier, but it doesn't matter because on day two a lot of crazy stuff happened as well, which you don't want to miss. Day number two, pretty beautiful sunrise. The fishes are already hunting in the surface, so I'm definitely going to throw some top water loo first. On that day we decided to go with two boats a little bit further upstream. Our plan was to fish a lagoon which is cut off from the main river, as we thought that the fishes in there must be well 
very aggressive as in those cutoff lagoons the food supply isn't the biggest and Don Jorge was immediately hooked up on his very first cast. The fishing however turned out to be really slow with the spinning rod. After Jorge's peacock bass the only animal which was interested in our hard plates was this little caiman but other than that it was completely dead but not for me with the fly rod. No, 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 it's a popper. Con el articulado otra vez. No, 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 eso no era con un popper. Cambié a un articulado y más profundo. First fish of the day on the fly articulated streamer in white colors on popper. We didn't catch anything, so I went a little bit deeper. First cast, first fish. So far we have fished four different types of spots. Hidden lagoons like we are entering right now beaches where there are like holes in the sand where the pico bass are hiding then third those rocky walls where i caught yesterday the two big ones and fourth everywhere where there are sunken trees and everything so far we didn't really get a huge one yet but i'm pretty optimistic that you will see a massive pico bass in this video the morning was horrible i was the only one catching because i was the only fly fisherman but we had a different plan for the rest of the day so we are gonna fly the drone to see if there are any hidden lagoons because another team of the camp they had incredible good fishing this morning in those hidden lagoons where they had to cut off the trees and everything to enter so I'm starting the drone then we have a nice view and then hopefully we find some secret spots. We actually did see quite a few lagoons but we couldn't see from the drone footage where to enter so we decided to keep fishing in the main river and it turned out to be the right decision. <laughs> From minute to minute the fishing became better and better and always in the evening we fished the so-called galetas. That's a type of spot at the beach with a lot of holes in the sand on the water where the fishes are hiding and usually there are always huge ones. <laughs> My line was in his way so I reeled in my popper as fast as I could. Oui. You tell me. I finally the first slightly bigger fish of the day. <laughs> Huge attack. I was reeling in my popper, another one took it as well. He caught it on a torpedo lure. And after releasing that fish, we not only switched the spot, I also changed to my blue deck stick bait, which delivered fish after fish. This lure was completely on fire and the fishing was incredibly good, but unfortunately we had to leave when it was best, as we had to get our food and water for the next few days, which you will see are going to be insane. 